among the nature and the trains at Fernwood Botanical Garden and Nature Preserve in Berrien County, Wendy Jones is listening for something else. So do you find any frogs in here? We do, yes. Jones is the head naturalist here. She's also a volunteer for the DNR. She listens for frogs and toads. The bullfrog, he sounds like a dying cow, and it, it would be lower than what I can do, but kind of a juggerum, 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 just real low and rumbly. Knowing that sound is important because Jones has to document what she hears. So there's your bullfrog again. The DNR uses volunteers like Jones to document the number of frogs and toads in the wild. She visits 10 different wetland sites at various times during the spring and listens. Then she estimates how many she hears and what species. The idea is to increase the state's knowledge of frog and toad abundance and monitor the populations over a long period of time. This is a green frog. There are 13 species in the state of Michigan, and according to the DNR's website, several have seen declines in populations over the last 25 years. That's why knowing what's out there is important. They are part of a healthy environment. They fulfill very important roles in the food chain, and they're just neat to hear and listen to on a warm summer's evening.